Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video well I'm just going to remind you the three books that are on sale drink tea and read the paper if you're a green belt and a black belt and you want simple instruction on how to apply your skill design of experiments for 21st century engineers and finally a statistical process control for small batch production. They are all available from lulu.com and the links are in the video below. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video is the analyze phase of the DMAIC process. So now we've reached the analyze phase and I must admit this is probably the one phase where most people get mo most confused. Uh, one of the reasons is in the analyze phase you've been taught all this statistical stuff during your Six Sigma course and there's a tendency to want to just take everything out the box, every statistical tool and to use it in the analyze phase because the the step is telling you to analyze and what you do is you just analyze the hell out of everything. Um, now the one thing to say is actually the analyze phase might not involve any mathematics whatsoever. It might not involve any statistics. There are two types of analysis depending on what state the process is in. So this is state number one. If your problem looks like this this is a problem with noise. What you have to do to make those red tails, to make that defect rate go away, is remove the noise from your process. Now that's, that's state number one. State number two, on the other hand, let's put the same tolerances in. State number two is like this when this is all about signal. This is about moving the result back on to the target. Now this is all about the statistics. This is not about statistics at all. This is about the way your process works. So this analyze phase is very non-statistical. So let's show you. If you've got this problem, by the way, another, another way to describe this, this process has to have the chaos removed. This process is all about control. So I would also refer to this as chaos, this is control, this is noise, this is signal. Um, you might also say in SPC, by the way, this is common cause variability, this is special cause variability. So there are lots of different ways of saying this. But this analyze phase at the top here, if we've got to remove the noise, what analysis technique am I going to use? I'm going to use this fine diagram right here, the cause and effect diagram. So here's my problem. Here we go. Categories. Men, machine, materials. environment, measurement and methods. What you're trying to do here, you're trying to take variability out of the process. Therefore, what does the cause and effect diagram do? It identifies every variable in the process and their current state of control. So under methods, it might say, I don't know, tool temperature. It might say, um, material temperature. It might say, coolant pressure. Etc. Okay, and what you're trying to ascertain is whether these are under control, which would be 
with a C, or whether they're out of control, which would be N for noise. And what you're going to do, where you have noise, you remove it, and if you remove noise, what will it do? It'll change the capability, it'll pull those tails in, and it'll fix your problem. That's the analyze phase when what you have is noise. Now, when you have this signal, what do you want to do? Well, I want to move the mean. I want to move the center of this process. And of course, I want to make it hit the target. Now at this point, what tool am I going to use in order to do this? Well, now I'm going to use design of experiments commonly known as DOE. Now in theory of course I could just grab a dial and I could probably make this thing dance onto the target just by doing that. Why am I going to do a DOE? Well the reason I'm going to do a DOE <coughs> is because what I want to do I want to make the process hit the target with the cheapest settings. So I don't just want to grab an expensive dial and turn it onto the target. What I want to do is go and interrogate the process, get process knowledge, and then get the cheapest answer to my problem. And that's why I'm going to use a DOE. Now, inside a DOE, of course, what do we get? Well, we get things like hypothesis tests get used here. Regression gets used here. What else? Sample size gets used here. Okay, so now we start to get heavy mathematical, statistical tools out of the box. Real heavy hitters. But that is only going to happen once I've got control and I'm trying to hit the target. It is not going to happen when I've got noise. Yeah, learning, learning how to put this thing on target doesn't help me. It's on target now, but I'm still making defects. This is about noise. I'm going to use a cause and effect diagram. No maths, no need. Here, this is about process knowledge, and I want to get this thing on target with the cheapest set settings. And that's the difference between getting all the tools out of the box and not getting all the tools out of the box in the analyze phase of the demand process.